hi guys welcome to my youtube channel hope you are good wherever you are in today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you how i recreate this beautiful style that you see on the screen right now if this is what you want to learn please continue watching and don't forget to like and subscribe please guys like and subscribe it really means a lot enjoy so guys here is my fabric neatly folded and i have it for my back and front so there's going to be a zip on this dress just as you are seeing on that picture the style has a zip at the back so that means that we need to leave seam allowance for the zip so what i have here i fold the front separately and the back separately i fold into two for the front so this is for the front we have it into two right and then this is for the back we also have it into two then i measure one and a half inches right one and a half inches that's for my zip seam allowance then i place the front before that one and a half inches so my measurement is going to be starting from here not here the seam allowance for the zip hope that is clear so this part now i'm going to be marking down our guideline so i've marked half inch this will be my starting point so from this now i'm going to be marking the neck width of four inches now the neck depth for the back is going to be one inch and for the front i'm going to be making use of four inches there is opening at the front so the opening will be let's say four inches or we can make use of three and a half inches for the opening right so in total the opening for the front is going to be seven and a half inches that is fine then the shoulder is 16 divided by 2 is 8 which is there then i'm going to be marking for the sleeve now for the sleeve i'm going to be making use of 13 inches mark the 13 inches here so this 13 inches i'm going to connect it straight down right so i can just easily cut it off right this 13 inches now i'm going to come down one and a half inches for my slope so i'll be coming down one and a half inches for the slope right then i'll connect the slope to the neck width then don't forget to add your shoulder seam allowance of half inch so come to this part here then go up half inch for your shoulder seam allowance then i'll be connecting into 21.5 right so in total of what we have both the shoulder and the sleeve is 21.5 so that's 21.5 and i'm going to connect it all down then cut cut it out on the side so i'm just going to do a little center back shaping so that the back will not be bulgy right even though it's bubble it's going to a little be fitted right so i'll be marking it here so what i will do is that i'll be marking the vertical measurement so from this guideline which is the shoulder line i'm going to be coming down my bust which is 11 i make use of 11 then i also mark down my waist so my waist is 16.5 which is here 16.5 which is here then the hip is 25 which is here so with this mark now on the waistline which is here on this waist here i'm going to be coming in half inch then i'll connect this half inch straight up a little bit fitted and i, I don't want the back to be bulging out so this is the connection then i'll connect this to the hip right place my ruler this way i'll connect it towards the hip area this way so this is just for the center back shaping Right. So I'll first of all call the back neck. So this is what we have. So now I'll remove the back. I'll remove the front this way and I'll call the neck for the front. So that's it. Then I'll be cutting this open. So 
so the length that I'm using here is 50 58 right the length is 58 the length is 58 so this is 58 then I added two inches to it for the hemming and the damp part so this is what I have so I'll be removing the front and this is the back so I'll cut my facing for the back first so what I just did here is that I placed another fabric under here so to cut for the facing for digital two so I'll be cutting the facing for the back first so I'll place it this way then I will measure from the shoulders so I will measure nine inches then I'll be tracing this out then trace the neck out so I'll cut the neck out then I'll be coming down five inches About five inches this way, then I'll remove this. So, this five inches now, I'll connect it this way. I'll cut this out. So, this is what we have for the neck, for the back, right? And this is the facing, right? So, place the facing this way. This is the right side of the facing, so we place it this way. And also place this one to this way. So we we'll sew with half inch, so with half inch, then turn it to the other side, right? That is for the back. We are turning the facing to the to. We are turning the facing inside, right? So we'll turn it to the the wrong side for the back facing. So I'll keep this aside then cut the facing for the front. So for the facing for the front, you can see that this time the facing is coming towards the waistline. So it's it's going to long from the shoulder to the waist, right? So that means that I'm going to input the depth of that facing on my waist. So from my waistline, I'm going to be marking four and a half inches. So this is the four and a half inches. Then on the the bust, which is shoulder to nipple, you can measure yours. Mine is eleven. So I'm just going to go up. So from this shoulder now, I'm going to measure eight and a half inches, which is here. So from this eight and a half inches, I'm also going to mark the four and a half inches. So that means this line will be straight down, right? Four and a half inches. I'll connect it this way. So the reason why I mark four and a half inches, I want the wideness to be eight inches, and the guideline to achieve that is your nipple to nipple divided by two, right? So this person nipple to nipple is eight divided by two is four then i added half inch that we used to turn it right to turn the facing inside so that makes it four and a half inches that four and a half inches is what i was also input on this eight and a half inches that i came down right so this is the eight and a half inches so let's assume this is the chest line then on the shoulders i'm going to mark that starting from the neck width i will also measure four and a half inches this way so by the time i remove half inch here I remove half inch here to turn it i will be ending up with three inches which is fine so i'll connect this this one and a half inches this way connect it to meet this then connect it straight down so that's for the facing right so this is the facing so i will I have to trace this out then cut it on my fabric so here is a brown paper just to make it obvious for you to see so i trace it out on this brown paper you can see my brown paper so I trace it out on this brown paper this way. So this is what I'm going to use to cut on the black fabric, my crepe, right? Then for the opening, I want the opening to be three and a half inches. So from this opening here, I'm going to go in quarter of an inch this way. Right? I'm going to quarter of an inch this way. 
then I'll connect it this way. So this quarter of an inch, I'm going to cut it out. So that's it. So when we open this up, this is what we'll have. So this is the opening for the front, right? So I'll be bringing the facing. I'll go over to my ironing table, then I'm going to iron my stay on it. So this is what we have, right? So I'm going to iron my stay on it. Then, as for the design that we've seen on the front, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to fold, I'll get a piece of fabric this way, my fabric this way, then I'll fold it this way, fold it half inch so i'll be having half inch this way then i'll place it on it this way right then i'm going to stitch it half inch i'll stitch it on this side stitch it on both sides so that's how i'm going to stitch it on it like this stitch it on it like this until i get to the end so i will do that then come back to show you yeah it's after sewing all the straps on it this is what i have right so this is the facing for the front so this is the result of what we have now so i'm going to grab the front part now this is the wrong side so i'm going to place it on the wrong side this way and see the way i'm placing it remember we've already opened this right and this has not been open yet so i'll place it this way then i'll make sure that the center of this is meeting the center of the of my dress right so i'll place it this way then i'm going to be sewing the neck round right i'll sew the neck round this way with quarter of an inch then i'm also going to sew this down to the opening right remember the opening that we have here i'm going to sew it to the opening this way sew it this way then i'll flip it to the right side hope that is clear we'll explain it again so i'm going to sew this quarter of an inch this way then i will sew this opening this way right sew it this way the opening stop here so i'll sew it up this way then i'll turn it to the right side so I've already sewed it now. I've already sewed the neck, right? So this is what I was saying. So you notch on this area so that it will be easy for you to turn out. So I'll be turning it out this way. I'll turn it to the right side. So you give it a good press after which you're going to be folding this with quarter of an inch or half inch whichever way fold this inside right then top stitch on it start folding it this way then top stitch on it all around to this other side right so i'm going to do that then come back to show you so let me do that so after I finish top stitching on it, then I'll be placing the back side, right side face each other. So this is for the back and I've also turned it with the facing. But this one, the facing is turned to the inside, right? Not outside, the way we turn the front. The back one, the facing is turned to the inside. So I'm going to place it right side face each other this way. Then I'm going to be using this facing now to turn the shoulders anyway it reach right so just put it this way then place this and place this this way so just to have a neat finishing then i'll place it like this then i'm going to be sewing this with half inch all to the end right so this facing did not go to the end it stops here so whenever i stop then i'll continue the stitch right Continue this stitch this way, then I'll turn it out. So I'll do that. So we have joined the shoulders of the front and back together. 
so after I finish sewing that this is what I have right so what I'm going to do now is to shape in the front this is the right side right so I'm going to put the shaping at the right side then I'm just going to stitch at the right side so I place the back you can see this is the back and this is the front together right and this is the center of the front so we want to shape in the front we want to shape in the the style out so that you can just sew on it right so from this center front I can see see my mark here so this is my center front here so what I'm going to do first of all I'll be coming down from my waist my hips so I'll mark for my bust my bust is 11 which is here so this will become our chest line then I also mark for my waist which is 16 point five then my hip I'll be marking 25 inches then the length of the gun is 58 right then we added two inches to it to hem it at the damp part so this is the center line right this is the center line so from this center line, i'm going to be inputting my hip circumference divided by four which is 11. i'll mark it here then i'll add half inch for ease then i'll come to the waist then i'll be inputting my waist circumference divided by four the waist is 36.5 divided by four will give me 9.1 so i'm going to put the 9.1 here this way then i'll be adding half inch for ease then on the chest line here i'm going to be inputting my ball circumference divided by four which is nine so i'm also going to indicate the center here so i'll mark the the ball circumference divided by four is 9.5 so i'll mark it here then I'll also input half inch for ease we'll have to connect the points then so from my my boss to my hip then from my hip to my waist you can see the way i'm connecting it then i will use a straight ruler to connect this then i will just connect this to the hem in form of a shape right so i'll just connect it this way so that is how i'm going to stitch on it right so i will stitch on it this way then i also come to this other side i'm also going to mark all the points on this other side right so guys these are all my mark i've already also marked it on shock it on this other side too right so shock it on this other side so what i did here i just measured seven inches away so what i will do to this hem part i'm just going to fold this half inch on half inch then stitch it all around right then from here like this i'll just stitch this part up this way then stitch this other part up this way so another thing again that you can use as a guide is you know this is the um this is the full front right so that means you just have to divide your measurement by two so what i did is that on this my waistline i divide my waist circumference by two what i have plus my seam allowance of one inch then i added it here so this is what we have. I've already hem it at the damp part. I've already sew it at the side, right? So I just turn it half on half, then stitch it all around as I've explained, right? So, and this is the damp part. I've also turned it at the damp part this way too. So, so here is what we have. And remember the, the shape in it too. I'll shape it to the damp part right so this is the seam then shape it to the damp part so this is what is left right for the butterfly right then this is the front the design so you can put your stones on it right just as you have on that picture just put your stones on it and here is the look of the dress guys please don't forget to like and share 
my videos please leave your comment on the comment section subscribe to my youtube channel see you in my next one bye